We're here at Watford's training ground to talk to Belgian international and FM fanatic Christian Cabasele. We'll be talking all things cup finals, club dynamics and squad building. So, let's go meet him. Hi Christian, thanks Hi. for welcoming us to the training ground today. And congratulations on reaching the cup final of course too. So I've got some questions here, so let's get straight into it. So this, of course, is the squad screen of Watford here. First thing that jumps out to me is, of course, all the lovely different flags there. There are 17 different nationalities in the first team squad. So what kind of advantages does this bring to the club, both on and off the pitch? It, it helps the, the player to, to make, uh, to make the, the step forward to, to other nationalities, to, to try to, 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 know them, to know them better. And uh, it brings, uh, it brings a, a, a lot of different uh, type of player as well on the pitch. Uh, some some Spanish player will be maybe more te technical, and some uh, some British player from France or Belgium will be more more physical. So it uh, it helps uh, the team yeah, very much. And so, when you're managing your side on Football Manager, how much attention do you pay to this side of the game? It's really important to to find the the right balance uh, between uh, between squad players and maybe uh, leaders, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that there is uh, there is no bad leaders in the, the changing room because if this kind of player uh, is not on the pitch, maybe they will come to to your office uh, every every time they are not on the pitch and uh, and uh, if you don't give them the the right answer, maybe they can uh, they can bring other other player behind them and the the trouble uh, could start there. Yeah. Back to real life now, obviously you work closely with the boss, Javi Gracia, every day. Uh, what's his tactical approach to, to team talks and team meetings like, uh, particularly on big occasions like the final coming up? Uh, I, I have to say that in, uh, in any case, in, uh, he's, he's always quiet. Uh, he, will, he will have the, the, same, uh, the same voice level if we play the, the cup, uh, cup semi-final. Uh, or if we play uh, in uh, in last game, uh, who mm -hmm. were already relegated, and uh, yeah, he is uh, he has the, the same quiet approach and uh, try to to give uh, his uh, his message really uh, really uh, really quietly. As a manager yourself, mm -hmm. do you say that you'd copy Gracia's style, or you maybe a bit more aggressive? Do you try and? Uh Maybe I'm, uh, lose your call or I'm, send your assistant. Uh, I'm more more aggressive, <laughs> especially when uh, when the the player are not playing good. Uh, I uh, I can be uh, very aggressive in the, in the halftime talk, and uh, I make sure as well that if we play against uh, a team who on the paper is lower in the league, I make sure to be aggressive as well in uh, in the beginning to to make them aware that uh, if we are not. Uh, if we are not 100%, we can, we can lose the game. Watford have been very smart over the last few years of recruitment, slowly building the top flight squad. But you've been here quite a few years now. Um, so what is it that first attracted you to come here to Watford? Uh, first of all, it's, uh, it's the league. Uh, everyone wants to, everybody wants to play, uh, to play in, the, in the league with, uh, with the, the, best team, uh, the best team in the world. And uh, when I came here to, to see the facilities and uh, the, the training ground, I was uh, I was really impressed uh, because uh, everything uh, everything it's it's done to to only think about uh, about football and uh, you have all uh, all uh, all the all the things uh, making making up uh, for you to to be uh, to be the best uh, the best as possible on the pitch. Yeah. So jumping back to football manager, so say uh, talking to new signings, if we go to, to sign a new player here as a boss, what kind of attributes do you find that you always sort of go for? Are there particular ones that you, are there things that you think every player needs to have when you're looking at players? Uh, to be honest, when, uh, when I'm looking for player, I don't really look the, the, the attributes. Uh, I, uh, I'm, more, I'm more focused on, on his potential uh, in mm -hmm. global. Uh, even yes, I, he, he can he can have uh, some uh, some weaknesses in some in some in some uh, part of, of his game. But for me, the, the the most important thing is to have the at least four star four stars in the, in the potential. And uh, after uh, with the with the with the trainings, I can maybe uh, improve uh, improve the player. Of course. 
So there's a lot of faith in the scouting network then. Yes, it's really important. It's one of the, the first things that I do. I send uh, my, uh, my scouts uh, everywhere in the world to, to, find the, to find the right player. And I always put the, the, main, the main target is to find a player between 15 and 27 to, yeah. to have maybe, uh, to maybe sell him if he's good on the pitch and try to really, uh, really improve uh, his, uh, his potential. So would you say then that if you have uh, if you've navigated the transfer window and you've got some money left to mm -hmm. spend, would you would you look to spend it on maybe some younger players that you can then bring through? Yes, definitely. Uh, it, it, it happens uh, several times that I have uh, all my squad my squad built, but I I, I will uh, I will looking for a, a young young talent, and after I can send him on loan to to get some some game time or maybe stay for the first moment in the. In the on the on the 23, so uh, yeah, I like I like this approach to make young player better. That's what football manager is all about. So when you're not looking for one of the kids, do you are you tempted to, to maybe sign your friends within the game or even yourself if you're not managing Watford? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest. I have uh, I have uh, some some uh, some friends who are playing football, and I and I always send the the scout to <laughs> to have a report about them. Even if I'm not in Watford, I try to to have a, a, a report about, about myself. But uh, if uh, the, the scouts say I, I'm not good enough, I don't force to, to, to make the, the transfer. And from looking at your social media, uh, we can see that you've started with Watford mm. as a manager and football manager before. So do, you know, in the dressing room, do you talk about your save? Do you say, uh, Dini's, you know, scoring some great goals for me at the moment. Go and talk to to, to the players in real life about your save. Uh, not, uh, not really, because <laughs> I think I, uh, I, uh, I'm the, the the only one who is playing football manager, so I don't have the chance to to speak about this. But in the, in the national team, there is uh, there is uh, Adnan uh, Adnan Yanuzai who is playing as well. So we we speak about uh, about this sometimes. Oh, good stuff. So bringing it back to, to real life again and that ma amazing cup run that Watford have gone on this season, they've used 23 different players in that cup run all the way through and now to the final. So this has obviously led to great success but also demonstrates a great depth within the squad. So how has the manager and the coaching staff created that environment where everyone can thrive? This is the key of uh, our, our season. Uh, the manager makes sure that uh, everybody gets his uh, chances. Uh, after he's up, to, uh, he's up to to the player to 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 be to be good on the pitch. Uh, the run, uh, the run in the cup uh, show show how uh, how how uh, how good the the squad was, and uh, it's uh, it's it's really important when you have uh, like uh, the, the 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 starting eleven to make sure that the other players are, are still involved, and that's what the 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 cup bring to us this uh, this season that we can uh, we can have uh, the whole squad focus because everybody everybody know that in some moment the, the manager will rotate and uh, we will have uh, we will have the chance to play and that uh, that contribute a lot to the the best uh, i think the best season in the premier league at the moment great so as we're looking at the squad screen now I'd just like to have a look at your profile. I know him. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> oh, he's a nice guy, actually. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, how do you think we got the stats this year? Are you happy with them? Some areas you think could possibly be improved? Uh, I, would, uh, I would say maybe the, 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 the acceleration and the pace. Maybe I, get, I, I need one or two points more. <laughs> yeah, it's already uh, pretty high, but yeah, that it's, must it's be a, a, a high standard that you set yeah. for yourself. There's some, there's some surprising ones in there. Of course, the, the versatility that we've got going yeah, on here. Obviously, a, a former <laughs> life as a striker, so the 11 finishing and 15 heading in that front would be good as well. Yeah. So do you think we've got that spot on as well with the, the ability to play in different positions? Yeah, maybe not the, 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 the middle field position. <laughs> <laughs> I never, never tried this uh, for the moment, but yes, striker, I was... I think six, uh, five, six years ago, I was I was a striker, and I changed my my position, and I turned into a, a defender. Uh, with uh, with Malta, uh, Walter uh, Mazzari, I, I played on a white uh, white wing mm -hmm. uh, in a three three five two system. 
So yeah, it, 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 it helped me as well. Uh, the manager know, knows that I can play in several positions and uh, it's always good to not be, be fixed on, mm. uh, on one, uh, one position. And talking of this season, obviously you've been playing, playing as a centre-back as your, your natural position, but uh, we've been flipping, Watford have been flipping between a back three and a, a back four at mm. times. As a defender, what is that like? Is, is it sometimes quite hard to adapt or I guess it's a good, a good thing for the, the squad to be able to do? Uh, it's, uh, it's always, uh, you need always uh, five or five, ten minutes to, when you change in the, in the, during the game, you need some moment to, to find the, the wide, the wide position. Uh, but everybody, everybody can play in, in both system and uh, if, uh, if, we, if we change the system, we, 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 we planned it uh, during the week, so everybody is, is aware about, about what he has to do to, 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 to adapt in, uh, in different system. Brilliant. And lastly, to finish it off, so we've got the tactics screen here, and because this is a new save, we've got, we've got sort of starting from scratch. So what kind of tactical style would you say that you, you most lean towards in Football Manager? Uh, I think uh, we, we, we play a, a kind of, uh, of Guggen, Guggen press uh, because uh, what, uh, what the manager always says is when you, when you lose the ball, try to, try to recover it as, uh, as fast as possible. Uh, and uh, especially in the beginning of the season, it was the 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 the, the key uh, the key attribute of, of Watford, and everybody was was saying that yeah, uh, the team the team is is well known for for making this, and that uh, that is difficult for the opponent when uh, when you don't uh, stay in front of your of your box and you you want to play a high defensive line. It's uh, it's it's very difficult for the opponent to to get uh, to get out of uh, of this press. We need to be to be aggressive, um, even if sometimes we get some uh, one versus one uh, situation. Uh, that's when you have to be aggressive and make sure that the ball is in the team uh, as soon as possible. Great, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.